Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil. This video is all about how you set up your brand new iPhone 8, 8 Plus, in fact, any iOS 11 device. So the reason I'm making it is because iOS 11 introduces a new system, which is super cool. It saves you having to punch in a whole load of passwords. All you need is an old device. Here I've got an iPhone 7 Plus with iOS 11 on it. So make sure before you get going that you upgrade your original iPhone to iOS 11 and then we can get cracking. Before I jump into these two phones, not really subscribed to BTEC, what have you been doing all this time? Subscribe, it's how you stay on top of everything that we do. All right, back to these. Like I said, first thing you'll need is an old device on iOS 11. Second thing you'll need is a SIM card. Now, if your phone was bought from the Apple store, it can be any SIM card. This is bought from a three store, so it'll need to be a three SIM card. Reason being, when you leave the store, the um, you're not allowed to leave the store without a SIM card in it. It is the person who is selling you the phone's job to make sure there is a SIM card put in before you leave because the first SIM card that goes in your brand new iPhone, if it is not bought from the Apple store, will be the one that the iPhone is locked to for all of time. Unless it is, you unlock it down the line. So we've got the SIM card in there. We can whack it into the phone and power it up. Now this is the easy part. Fire up the phone. Apple store on Apple logo, sorry, on screen. We've got our old phone here, and then something a little bit magical should happen. Once the iPhone fires, it will send out a beacon, and any iPhones in the vicinity will read it. And then I can press continue, so I can set up the Apple ID using the account. It pulls this pattern on screen, activates the camera on the old iPhone, and then initiates the setup. I can punch in my passcode off screen, and bring that back into frame. And lo and behold, it starts the setup process. Now this has meant that I haven't had to punch in my Apple ID, etc. It's just a little bit quicker. And also if I was doing something like an iCloud backup, it would grab all my app settings too, etc. like that. But it won't grab Touch ID. Touch ID is stored locally for added security. Touch ID is pretty easy to set up. For anyone who doesn't know what Touch ID is, it's just a fingerprint scanner technology that lets you do things like securely unlock your phone, securely pay for items as well using the fingerprint scanner. Um, I actually, like, as a, in principle, prefer Touch ID to Face Unlock, um, but I haven't tried Face ID yet in person. So watch this space if you have. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Historically, Touch ID works incredibly, incredibly well. So now that that's set up, I need to punch in my Apple ID passcode, which again, I will do off screen nice and quickly. And the next step is to choose whether I want to restore my old apps and data or set up as a new phone. I actually want to set this up as a new phone. The reason being my old iPhone has 128 gigabytes of storage, whereas a new one has just 64. As I've got around 100 gigabytes of storage full on here, there isn't going to be enough room on my new one. I don't want to fill it up out of the box. So let's start afresh. So that's definitely something that you will want to bear in mind if you're moving to a smaller capacity device. So choose other backup or don't restore I want to press don't restore um, so set up as a new iPhone and then it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID accept terms and conditions agree enable location services I use a lot of location based um, applications and even maps I want that to be as accurate as possible do I want to enable, enable Apple Pay? Absolutely I do, but I don't want to enable it now, so I'll set that up later in my wallet. Next, iCloud Keychain. This is passwords and all that good stuff that's in Safari and all of your other applications. So I'm gonna approve from another device. An approval request has been sent, and it should pop up on here. And then I can pull that off screen and type my password in. To punch in, that is the one. So press OK and then Siri. I'm gonna set Siri up later. It's just a case of teaching Siri my voice. iPhone analytics, share with Apple, don't share, that's up to you, but I want the experience now and in the future to be as good as possible. True Tone Display is gonna take the ambient temperature of the room that you're in and calibrate the display accordingly. So I'm gonna press continue with that. You can see the difference that it makes. And if you can't, it just warms things up a bit because I'm in a predominantly tungsten environment. Press continue. 
meet the new home button. I can get started with this. This is the same home button as is found on the old iPhone. So it requires a bit of a press in order to activate. So you've got three levels of click, three, two, and one. That's how much it vibrates when you click on it. I like a pretty aggressive feedback. So I'm gonna click on three and then tap on next. Next you want display zoom. If you're, you know, hard of sight, you may want everything zoomed in a little bit. This is just gonna make things much, much easier to read. Personally, I like as high a DPI setting as possible. So I'm gonna press next with the standard display zoom. And now we have the new iPhone set up. The whole process didn't take too long, made even quicker by iOS 11 and the ability to wirelessly link up my two old iPhones. Like I said, this has been around on Android for a little bit of time or something similar, but it's really nice to see the really robust iCloud backup system, which is unprecedented and still isn't in the Android world, paired with this advanced pairing mode. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up button, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do. And don't worry guys, you can be sure I will be doing a whole heap of camera comparisons using the brand new iPhone 8 Plus. Thanks for watching BTEC.